to go racing in a Renault Clio with him. So basically guys, I'm going to get to fulfill a dream. I'm going to go racing. Hey guys and welcome to Petrolped and welcome to what I hope is going to be the start of a really cool series of videos. I should probably first point out by the way I'm actually on my holidays in Antibes in the south of France and as this video is very motorsport related and I even have my Monaco t-shirt on, Monaco is literally just over there in fact just around that headland that's uh, Cap Foray and then just around there is Monaco so we're in a really good place to talk about what's about to happen. So let me give you a bit of background info and kind of explain the intro video I showed in this video. Now, I've always loved cars, always loved motorsport, and I guess from an early age I can remember my big brothers taking me go-karting and, and driving a go-kart and thinking, wow, what, what would it be like to be a proper racing driver? Um, and then when I progressed to driving a road car, I can remember going on my first track day at Donington Park, that becomes important very shortly. And just thinking this is the, the coolest thing ever, but I've always, always wanted to know if I could actually do it, if I could race, uh, you know, wing mirror to wing mirror, door to door, if I could actually be a racing driver. And to be quite honest, I never ever thought the opportunity would come. It's a very expensive thing to do. So a few months ago, when I was lucky enough to be invited by Richard Turbin, a great guy to drive his Lancia race car, during that race weekend, John, who prepares a Richard's race car, made an offer to me that honestly I didn't think was going to happen. He said, would you like to come and race one of our cars at a proper race weekend and be a proper racing driver? Now, I got my race license probably five, six years ago now, um, and I never used it to do uh, sort of door-to-door -door racing. I did sprints, and I've, I've filmed a few sprints uh, for my channel. Uh, I've done lots of track days. I've done things like auto solos, but never competitive wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. So when that offer was made, I kind of thought, yeah, that's just never going to happen. Well, the good news is, guys, it's happening. So we have hatched a plan. It was put together at very short notice because this very nearly didn't happen. And the plan is that we are gonna to work towards a full race weekend at Donington Park on Friday the 31st of August and Saturday and Sunday the 1st and 2nd of September. Friday is uh, qualifying and practice and then Saturday there's a race and Sunday there's a race. So I'm gonna get a double race weekend. But I need to get in preparation for that. So next week I've got two test stroke tuition days. The first one on Monday the 20th of August is going to be at Donington Park uh, and it's quite good that the race is at Donington Park because I know the circuit quite well. I've done a track day there. I drove Richard's Lancia there. It was a circuit right next to where I grew up as a kid so we used to go there watching racing all the time when I was a kid. So, so that's going to be really really interesting. And then on the Thursday of that week uh, which is the 23rd of August we're going to go to Alton Park and have another test stroke tuition day at Alton Park which again is a really exciting place for me because I was actually born in Cheshire not that far from Alton Park and I've never been there but my big brothers have always regaled amazing stories of watching motor racing there uh, in their younger years so I can't wait to get to Alton Park and experience the circuit. So let's have a chat about this test stroke tuition day. So I'm going to talk about John and the car and the offer in a moment, but one of the things John said was, look, you, you can't just rock up on a race weekend and drive, drive one of our cars. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Even though you've got track day experience, even though you've done some sprints, nothing's going to prepare you for a proper race weekend. So we need to get you ready. So amazingly, um, John has lined up a driver coach for me, a really cool guy called Mark Hammersley. And, and while I've been away on holiday, we've already started the prep. Um, so I've already had um, some kind of email exchanges and been given some homework. So it's not a case of just getting in the car and trying to drive quickly. It just doesn't work like that. So on the, the two test days, I'm going to create videos around the coaching that Mark is going to give me. Now, he's a, a grade A ARDS instructor. He works with a whole range of different types of racing drivers, proper racing drivers, not kind of, you know, wannabes like me. But Mark's going to basically start off 
actually way before we get in the car the theory of uh, everything from uh, things like the traction circle, roll couples, um, braking technique, visualization techniques, uh, even things like mindfulness and um, sort of putting yourself in a, in a really calm and, and mellow state before the race and visualizing what's going to happen. So we're going to work on a whole bunch of stuff and also we're going to get in the car and he's going to hopefully help me Help me get to a point where I get to the first race weekend and I'm, I'm not, you know, right at the back. I'm, I'm actually, you know, even if I wasn't last, that would be a really big bonus for me. So, so that's the, the two tuition days. I'm going to be bringing you videos of those. The race weekend I'm going to be driving in is organised by the 750 Motor Club and the particular class I'm in is called the K-Tech Racing Clio 182 championship so i'm going to be racing a renault clio now first thing i have to say is a massive thank you to richard um, for this is his old race car he's going to let me play with his race car for a weekend so that's really really cool um, it's a a really well controlled um, uh, class of motorsport aimed at making it not too expensive to go racing so it's a, a, a 182 Clio and then there's some quite specific regulations so it has to have a standard engine so it's got a, a 182 type uh, F4R 738 engine with a KTEC race controlled ECU. Um, it's got KTEC coilover suspension um, but it's also got this quite defined geometry that you can have that suspension set to. Uh, uh, wheels are team dynamic wheels with Yokohama tyres so everybody's on the same wheels and tyres the brakes standard brake discs but racing pads and then finally it's a properly race prepared car so it's got a six point roll cage full race uh, bucket seats and racing harness and so on so it, it, it is a proper proper racing car but the idea is all of the cars are basically the same standard the same specification so that makes for really close racing it kind of puts the the differential in the driver's seat rather than the mechanics of the car so that's the the race um, and as I said on the Friday we've got uh, uh, practice and qualifying and then on the Saturday and the Sunday there's a race on each of those days um, I'll put details by the way in the description below of the race event it's uh, open to the public you can come along it would be amazing to see and if you wanted to come along and support me that would be really cool um, but that is the race itself. The final thing to talk about is just to show you some pictures of the car and have a chat about John and JJ Performance who are going to prepare the car for me. So as I said it's a, a Renault Clio 182 Cup and um, the pictures I'm kind of putting over at the moment that's actually Richard racing it very recently at Brands Hatch. Uh, cracking looking car, it's got really interesting um, driving characteristics, it's going to be quite different even though it's front wheel drive, um, talking to Mark it's going to be quite a different car to drive than my Mini so I'm really looking forward to getting behind the wheel literally a week today actually um, so that's very very exciting um, and John from JJ Performance is going to be basically running the car for me so they're going to prepare the car um, one of the things we'll do over the two test days is make sure the car is a good fit for me and then they will run it over the weekend and basically look after me and be my mechanics because I am rubbish at mechanics um, but one of the great things JJ Performance do is they will they will prepare and run cars for you if you want to enter a championship you can buy the car they'll race prepare it and then they'll run it for you but they also do an arrive and drive service so you can basically enter a championship without a car and just pay to use one of their cars if you so wish so there's a couple of ways of doing it and as we go through these videos I'll kind of get John on camera and we'll talk a little bit more about the types of services that they run but a huge thank you to John for the invite to do this it's really very special I have looked at single make series before when I had my Caterham I looked at the Caterham uh, Academy my problem with that was part of that process is getting your ARDS race license and I've already done that and unfortunately that disqualifies me from the Caterham Academy I think it would probably be the same with series run by people like Ginetta as well so that, that's a bit of a challenge so to finally get to be a driver is going to be very very cool but you guys need to stay tuned to this series of videos if you've ever thought I reckon I could do that well I'm about to prove how difficult it is and um, we're going to kind of follow my journey I'm going to make a, a videos around the two test days video around the practice and then video around the races and they'll be coming to you over the next week or so but stay tuned for <laughs> for I think a very special couple of weeks but anyway I hope you've enjoyed this short video if you have done so give me a thumbs up 
comments below are always welcome and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come it's because of guys like you subscribing to my channel I even get opportunities like this to share with you uh, and I hope you're going to enjoy it but I'll see you on the next film guys you take care drive safe